Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. Not long ago, I made a video all about making a product shot, going from very simple to looking way more nice and fantastic. So I did that using a combination of Fusion and the color page. Um, but in this video, I'll show you how to do more or less the same video, but doing everything inside of Fusion, so you don't have to swap in between the Fusion edit page and the color page. So this tutorial is done all in Fusion, so let's jump right in and let's get going. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and let's get started by doing this product shot. So I have a green screen clip right here, and you know, I'm going to right click on that, and I'm going to make this into a new Fusion clip. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into Fusion. So here we have our media in and our media out, but I don't want it like this. So I'm going to take off the green screen, which is here. And if I push the F2, I can rename this. So I'll call this green screen. like that, just to keep ourselves a little bit organized. So I'm going to start off by actually creating the background. And I'm going to do that by dragging down a background. And I'm going to connect that to the media out. And I'm going to select the background. I'm going to give this a different color and um, I'll go with some kind of a yellowish orange color like that. And I'm just going to do a little correction in the color, so it looks something like this, at least for now. I can always change this later. And then I'm going to take the background, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to do a copy. And again, right click, clicking at the grid, and I'm simply just going to paste it. I could, of course, also use Command uh, V uh, to paste, uh, but I'm not doing that. So, what I want to do for the background, I want to have this yellowish background, but I want to have a kind of a, a comb or a light in the center, which is brighter than the background. And to do that, I'm just going to put in a mask. In this instance, I'm doing a ellipse, and I'm going to connect that to background, uh, the second background, and I'm going to push uh, one on my keyboard so I can see what I'm doing. So something like that. And let's just uh, connect this to the first background we did. So we're going to add a merge in. And now we can't see anything. So I want to add in a color corrector, which is right here. I'm going to drag that and add in a color corrector between the background and the merge. And in here, I'm going to change in the inspector the menu to, let's go to levels. And I'm just going to drag this down, like something like this. Something like that. And then I'm going back to the ellipse. And I'm going to go to soften edges. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to soften the edges quite a bit. Like that. You know, then I can go into the color corrector and I can change this to, let's go to colors. And I can change the colors to a different hue, or I simply can take the saturation and take that out. So it's going to be like a spotlight effect, something like that. So that is the background all created, at least for now. We can change stuff around later, of course. So let's go to our green screen clip. So I'm going to select my clip and I'm going to push one on the keyboard. And that's what we have, our green screen clip. And I need to, at least I need to key out the green. And it's not a very great green screen, but it's there and it's, um, we can work with this. And um, I also want to do some zooms and stuff like that. But let's um, start by taking out the green screen. So by pushing shift space bar, I got this selecting tools menu and I need to use a delta keyer because that is the fastest way. So I'm going to add in a delta keyer right here. 
So I'm going to select the delta key here and I'm going to push two on that so we can see what we are doing. Then I'll go up here and I'll take the green out, something like that. And of course, this is the final result and I don't necessarily want to watch it that way. So I can go up here in the view mode and go to matte and then I can go to pre-matte here if I want to change stuff around, but I think it will be okay just to go to the matte. And the idea here is to go into the threshold and to make the background black as well as possible. And our foreground object here has to be white. So we're going to do something like that. I'm going to maybe a little more, something like this. So let's go to final result. Yeah, for now that's okay. I'm going to take the output here and I'm going to add this down to the merge. So if we go to our media out and I push two, we should have our final result. Um, but we are not done yet, of course. I actually want to do a little color adjustment. So I'm going to add in a color node right here. And I think I just want to take out some saturation and in fact, maybe I want to use some contrast like that and some with the gain. I mean, we can dial this in, in fact, a little bit later as well, but let's say something, something like that. Okay. Then I want to do a zoom and I actually want to do some kind of an animation as well on the can here. But the first off, I'm going to put in a transform node, which is right here. I'm going to drag that in here. And then, you know, I'm just going to space out stuff a bit. So what I actually want is I want to size up my can here because I want to cut out this ugly glass. And for this shot, that's what I want. And then I want to do a go in the center and I'm going to center the bottle just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to do a quick animation on the can. So I'll go to, let's say, tw frame 24. And I'm going to put in a keyframe in the center. I'll put in one in the size and in the angle. Okay, and then let's go to the beginning. And then I just want to move this out of the way. And let's say I want to uh, do a little bit of a angle as well, something like this, which is pretty cool. So I did see one thing I did not like. So I'm actually going to change that before I put in the transform. So if I, quickly want to do an adjustment and uh, it can be a bit hard when we have all this moving of course I'm going to take my transform here I'm just going to drag that out so I had some nasty spill over here which doesn't look good so we're going to fix that pretty fast by taking a rectangle I'm going to take the rectangle and I'm going to size it up so it fits around the can something like that and you know, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. But um, I'm then going to take the output here and I'm going to hold the second mouse button, I'm going to drag that into the Delta key and let go. And I'm going to select this as a garbage mat. Oh no, everything has disappeared. Why is that? I need to go into my rectangle and I'm just going to invert my selection. So here we have my can back. And um, now all of this nasty thing is actually gone. And then I'm going to take my transform. I'm going to push the shift, hold that down. And I'm simply just going to drag my clip and let go. And now we have my animation in again, and I can continue on my journey to do the animation. So there we have that and it's spinning and spinning and spinning, and that's all good. And let's say at the uh, frame 120, again, I want to do some movement from there. So I'm going to put in keyframes again in the center, the size and the angle. I'm just going a little bit forward. So let's say when uh, it's 
10 frames later, I want my angle to be like this, and I want my can to be out. So here we have uh, that bit here coming in, spinning around, and then, you know, going away. Uh, going away. That's, that's the animation we're doing. And of course, we can now go in and change the colors around and do stuff with the background. For instance, though, if we want to change the background color, we might as well go in here. We can color pick this to the can size, maybe something like this, if we really want to. I don't really want to. So we could um, easily change the colors around, but um, in this case, I'm just going to bump up the the yellow and the green here, the green and the red, something like that. That is how we can do like the basic. Of course, I want to add in one last thing. So I want to add in a drop shadow again, pushing shift spacebar, and I'm just going to write drop. And I have here my drop shadow. I'm going to push add. And um, again, I was on the transform node and I don't want it to be on the transform node. So again, I can select my drop shadow, push shift and drag, and then I can move it up before the, um, before the transform, because I want the shadow to move along the can. So let's uh, select the drop shadow and then let's just go in here and uh, change stuff around. And the distance, maybe we want something like that. I mean, we can, of course, change stuff around as we go here. And if we want to do something completely else and move it, we can do that. I think that was a little too much blur. Okay, and also the, I want it to go further. And of course, um, again, if we want it to go further than this, we need to go in and change the numbers. So let's say one dot, and that's very far out. So we can now move it in here. Maybe we want it to be, I don't know, around here somewhere. Something like that. Okay, so if we just quickly run, we will see that the, the shadow is now moving with the can, which is kind of nice. This is how we would do this effect inside of fusion pretty fast and of course this does not mean that we can't go into the color page afterwards and do some final adjustments for instance we can go in here and i'll be on my fusion clip here and uh, of course i could bump up the saturation or whatever i want to take it down whatever i want to do color correcting wise i can do inside of the color page just like that. that so now we have the final result which looks just like this so anyway i do hope you found this video useful if you did please hit that subscribe button give the video a like share it with your friends if you think it would help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time keep filming keep learning and keep sharing